Hey guys, it's Tom from Something RS here and welcome to today's update which is Monastery of Ascension. This is the new Range Slayer dungeon and I'm currently stood at mobilizing armies just because I want to show you the way. So what I'm going to do now is run northeast. Alright, so here we are and stood outside is o Oculus. Let's talk to him. Good welcome, Oculus name. I'm something RS and I'm fucking cool. Come about vanishings? I believe the story for this place is that people have been kidnapped by Guthix followers gone wrong. That's the basic concept of this. I'm not going to go into too much detail about that. Let's go into the dungeon. So to enter this place you need 81 Slayer. That is the minimum level you need for this place. And... Okay, this is looking very cool, I have to say. Ascension shot. Wonder what these do. Hmm. Okay, so we have various magic creatures. These Rorarius, they are sort of short ranged, and if they group up together, they will do more damage. So the more of them there are attacking you, the more damage they'll do. And let's take a nice little stroll around here. Okay, these guys with the big massive shields are Scutarius. They are very defensive, as you can see. All of these creatures are weak to arrows, specifically, in case you're wondering. Just a little jump cut to show you combat against these Scutarius. As you can see, damaging attacks from the front do basically no damage. But if you use an attack from above, which is the Bombardment ability, it will do a normal amount of damage. And also attacks from behind are very good as well. So what you can do is do a Co-op co Slayer task and kill these with someone. And that will be a much more effective way of killing these guys. And also if you use an ability like Ricochet, which bounces off other enemies, that will do 20% extra damage to these guys when it, the damage is reflected to them. So you'll see some blue things in my inventory. This is the Ascension Shards and Ascension Fragments. Ascension Shards and Fragments, you'll get lots of these by killing these guys. Ascension Shards are one of the materials needed for the Ascension Crossbow, which you can buy from Oculus, who is outside the dungeon. You need a hundred Ascension Shards, one of each of the six Ascension Signets, which are dropped by these Legio guys, I hope I'm saying that right. And you also need a Dragon Crossbow or the Offhand Dragon Crossbow. You need to trade all these in, in order to get an Ascension Crossbow. If you want the Offhand Ascension Crossbow, you also need to trade in another 100 Ascension Shards along with the Ascension Crossbow. The Ascension crossbows degrade just like the Zarite bow with every shot that's fired and it can fire up to 60,000 shots until it's fully depleted. When it's fully depleted it will cost 2 million coins in order to fully repair it. Oh and the Ascension crossbow is a level 90 weapon. I'll leave a link to this wiki page in the description as it's very useful. Wow, I'm liking the visual effects down here. I imagine this would look brilliant in the RS3 beta. Okay, so it looks like we can jump across here. And let's just see what's on this side. So we have more Scutarius. What's in here? Ah, so now we have the Gladius. I believe these guys can charge you. And it looks like this guy is sort of uh, hiding behind walls to avoid the charge that stuns you, I believe. It's not a bad tactic, actually. So a, a good thing to use against these would be freedom and anticipation, just to avoid getting stunned. Just another little jump cut to show you combat against the Gladius. So what you want to do against these is try and keep them close here to prevent them from charging and stunning you. As you can see, they're pretty easy. So that's the Gladius. So what we're going to do now is just keep going. See what else there is to see. 
Uh, so here we have another mob type, which is the Capsarius. These are sort of support units that heal other units when they group up together and attack you together. They provide their allies with shields and healing. Just another jump cut to show you combat against the Capsarius. On their own, they're very easy and they're very weak. As you can see, I have nearly killed it already. But if you find yourself in a group combat situation against these guys, always remember the first rule of thumb generally in MMOs is that healers always have to die first. And over here we have another shortcut, it would seem. So let's just jump over this, see what there is. So we have another shortcut here. Let's just uh, jump over. Okay, so here we have a laboratory. I believe this is where the legions are, which are level 95 slayer mobs. And unfortunately I'm 94 slayer, so I can't really show you these, I'm afraid. Just for clarification, there are in fact six laboratories throughout the dungeon. Each one requires a specific keystone in order to get past each door. So for example, this Quintus laboratory requires the keystone Quintus and that one over there, keystone Quartus in order to enter. And in order to get the keystones, you have to kill these various mobs throughout the dungeon. So basically just farm up a load of these mobs until you get a keystone use a keystone on these laboratory doors when you're 95 Slayer in order to kill Lee Jones, which drop the components for the Ascension crossbow. I will have to try and get 95 Slayer to show you those Lee Jones properly. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> but yeah, that's just a quick first impressions of the new Range Slayer dungeon. Very spiffing indeed. And I'll see you guys next time.